This is your E700 guide on transaction history. To look at your transaction history, begin by pressing the menu button in the top left of the device and select transaction history. You'll then find yourself at the transaction history page. From here, you'll be able to see details of all of your recent transactions, including the transaction ID, time, staff member's name, number of items in the transaction, the tender the customer paid with, and the total amount paid. When you click on the transaction, you'll then see more details of the transaction and have the ability to reprint the receipt, link the transaction, and refund the payment. You can easily look for a specific transaction by clicking the Look Up Transaction button in the top left, where you can then enter the transaction ID, which will appear on the customer's receipt. Transaction Reports. To look at transaction reports, begin by clicking the menu button in the top left and then select Reports. From here, you can then move through four different menu options. This includes Till Sales, which shows you in-depth information about the sales figures. Product Sales, which shows more information about each individual product, including the number of sales and net sale amount. And Department Sales, which shows which department the sales have come from. For example, in this case, it's split between drink and food. Refunding a transaction. To refund a transaction, click the menu and tap Transaction History. Then, tap the transaction you'd like to refund and click Refund or Void. A pop-up menu will appear where you can select one of three options, including a partial refund, full refund, or void the transaction. When you select Refund, you'll then need to select the refund reason. The item will appear and you can also choose whether to return the stock amount or not. When you are ready, click continue and you'll be able to tap the customer's card on your portable A920 device to refund the payment.